Commander Singh Sandhu is one of the militants the Indian Army was looking for when the troops broke into the temple. He was one of the principal lieutenants of the extremist leader, Bin Renwali. We've been told that he survived the attack and is now a prisoner of the Indian Army. Whether or not he gave up voluntarily, we don't know. But when we talked to him, he didn't sound like a man who would give up easily. We are slaves in India. We can't lead any aspect of life like an independent citizen. That's why we are struggling for our rights. This is happening with the most of the sex. And no doubt, if I am married, I will have to stay here for the cause of the nation. I can spend whole of my life here. And even we both, me and my wife, we can go out fighting if it is decided by our organization. So I don't mind it staying here for the cause of the sex. If we get liberation out of these sufferings, that will be something, uh, a big achievement for the, for the people. Do you think you will ever get out of here without using a gun? It will depend upon the behavior of the Indian government. We don't want bloodshed and violence. We want to settle the issues in a peaceful way, but the government doesn't want it. Certainly this is a struggle for sovereignty of the Sikhs. Sikhs want to keep their culture, their identity secure. And if the government doesn't accept it, certainly the Sikhs will have to take up arms. And this will not be a smaller war. Mrs. Gandhi and the Indian government, they will have to suffer too much for that. The Indian government says that struggle for sovereignty has ended.